Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to derive the value of Bohr magnetron. As you know, Bohr magnetron is the value of the magnetic moment of an electron. So here we start. We know that velocity can be written as distance by time. So here the distance we can see the electron is moving in a circular path according to Bohr's Bohr atom model. Bohr proposed that electron is moving around the nucleus in a circular path and then specific area called orbital. So I'm using his theory in order to derive the equation, uh, derive the equation and solve the value of Bohr magnetron. So. Velocity is equal to distance by time. As you know, electron is moving around, uh, uh, moving in the circumference of a circle. We can write the distance is equal to 2 pi r. That is the circumference of the circle by time. So by rearranging the equation, by exchanging this and this, we can write t is equal to 2 pi r by v. And just remember this. We have to use this after some time. Okay. So. We know that current is equal to charge by time, charge flowing through a particular area by time. I am using that equation right here. So here the number of electron I am using is uh, 1 electron. I am using the n equal to 1 uh, so that we can find the 1 Bohr magneton. So, I am using one electron, so uh, you know that Q is equal to N e and uh, substituting the value of N equal to 1 right here, we can write I is equal to E by T. Next, uh, you have to also remember this equation. We will need that in this equation right here. So we know that magnetic moment is equal to area into current. So as this is a circle, we can write the area as pi r square and current as e by t. Just substituting this right here and t can be written as, this t right here can be written as 2 pi r by v. So by substituting all those values right in the equation, we can we will get a big equation like this and we can cut off these items right here and this r also r is the radius of the circle and at last we find an equation that is more convenient and we can we, we, we get an equation that is m is equal to e v r by v where v is the velocity and r is the radius and e is the charge of the electron and two is, two is just a two. okay uh, next page so I'm dividing this equation by L that is angular momentum of the electron. As a body is revolving, around, uh, revolving and uh, in a circular path, we can write the angular momentum as MVR. Uh, some, uh, it is also M R square omega. Uh, by uh, substituting V is equal to R omega, we can write L equal to MVR. That is mass into velocity into radius. L is equal to, remember this, L equal to MVR. So, dividing this equation, M is equal to EVR by 2 by MVR, we, we get, we can cut off these two items right here. Bam! So, we get a nice equation that is E by 2M. This is also called as gyromagnetic ratio. It's called as gyromagnetic ratio. Some of the most of the exams uh, conducted by governments ask these questions, uh, these type of questions. What is the value of gyromagnetic ratio? So I'm just letting you know that a gyromagnetic ratio is equal to 8.856 into 10 raised to 10 coulomb per kg. That is the ratio of the magnetic moment versus uh, the angular momentum of an electron. As one of the uh, most important ratios in physics, gyromagnetic ratio. So we get m by l is equal to e by 2m so we have to find the magnetic moment of the electron we have to find this little value over here so I, for that i have to take this l over here okay so we know that 
എൽ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ബോസ് പോസ്റ്റ്ലേറ്റ്സ് ആംഗുല മൊമെന്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി റിട്ടേൺ ആസ് ആൻ ഇന്റഗ്രൽ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് എച്ച് ബൈ ടു ബൈ വർ എച്ച് ഇസ് ദ പ്ലാങ്സ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻ വർ എച്ച് ഇസ് ദ പ്ലാങ്ക് കോൺസ്റ്റൻ its value is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 so i am using that right here so i am take i have taken that l from here to here and substituting nh by 2 by here where n equal to 1 and h by 2 pi into e by 2 m as we know that e by 2 m is equal to 8.856 into 10 raised to 10 into substituting the value of h and 2 pi substituting all the values uh, we get an big thing like this you can use a calculator and by simplifying this huge thing we get the value of m that is the magnetic moment of an electron and we get that value as 9.24 into 10 raised to minus 24 i don't think is uh, correct i just wrote a approximate value uh, you may use a calculator and find out the correct value uh, so gyromagnetic ratio we have derived the one bohr magneton from gyromagnetic ratio and all the things uh, bohr oscillates you should remember all these things and we have derived the value of one bohr magneton one bohr magneton is uh, used as uh, important units uh, as a important unit in physics and is one of the uh, one of the important constants in physics uh, so hope you remember it hope you enjoyed it hope you and hope you are understand it so uh, if you have any questions uh, please comment below don't forget to thumbs up okay bye